Hey guys, this is a basic video of the ATS-20 on 7.185 right now. Sorry about this, hang on a minute. I had to set the limit down on the ground on that side. But basically, I may turn it down over here. I'm using a uh, makeshift antenna here. You're not going to see it too well right now. But I'll go up to it so you can kind of see. So it runs from the radio up to this chair. And I kind of made a makeshift dipole up to right there where that pole is. Again, it's hard to see. And I should have made this video in the daytime. But I was uh, listening to the 7158 net. This is actually a really nice little radio. I forget how much I paid for it, but with just this little simple wire antenna, even inside with my uh, antenna the way it is inside, it receives fairly nicely. So, you know, I'm happy with my purchase with it. It does what I want. It picks up side band. It picks up most of the hand bands. Uh, actually, it picks up all the hand bands that I want to listen to. My other radio only picks up AM only. And it only does, uh, AM. But I'll go ahead and show you some, uh, local audio with it. So here's 680 out of Chicago. Let me switch it. She's knowing that your life's going to change. When I quit being a high school teacher and a public giant public school and I coach. I'm basically using Chicago as a reference. Man, so here's 680. Job. Here's 70. Up tonight, much colder rain will change to snow, accumulating about two inches by the morning. Could by the way, this is accidentally in side bands, but side bands is just an AM carrier. So let me switch it over. Then off and on snow tomorrow night in Thursday. Localized bands of heavier lake effect snow as well. The likely accumulation it is fading in and out a little bit, but you'll see less near the Illinois changes. Wisconsin state line. 8 to 12 inches possible near and Here's 890. <laughs> Of the branches of government. There when is also a Spanish station in the background, but that the this, court would have uh, the final say. WLS, I believe, is 890, is a Class A clear channel 50 Where kilowatt station, so it's overpowering that. Nowhere. And then the hardest one to get <laughs> is 1000. I cannot get that on my other radio. This thing picks it up like it's on a snap. There is some co-channel interference though. And then for the FM side. Let me get up out of the screen. Better picture of the Messiah in the Old Testament. We're not going to worry about that. Hang on a minute. Let's find some, something good. Got to be free. Come to and I'll quickly cut that. But as you can see, yeah, it picks up very well. So, it also does uh, long wave. Given the law was unconstitutional. Uh, AM or medium wave. And short wave. Switching over to sideband. There's a switch on the back, by the way, which I'll show you. And this is the back of the radio. I have my own adapter. So even though you can't see it too well, there's a switch right here. There it is, sort of. That switches the antenna from AM to sideband, AM and FM. You got your headphone jack, your on and off jack, and your charging jack, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, on and off jack. Sorry, my bad. 
Let me hook my wire back in. And I'll do just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in because it's cold out. This will also, I believe, pick up the 60 meter hand bin as well. I was trying to listen to 3730, but I'm not picking up anything on it. I don't know if that net is active or not anymore. It says it's supposed to be going on right about now, but I haven't seen it, so... Oh, seen it. Uh, excuse me. Heard it. So, yeah, we'll continue through here. Uh, the buzzer. 4625. Uh, I can't hear it, unfortunately. I really wish I could. I'd love to get a clip this far into the U.S., inside the U.S., with uh, the Russian buzzer. But, unfortunately, at this time, that's not going to happen. Now, here is a... Let me switch over to... Um... Switch it over to AM. Now, there, on my other radio, when I lived in Missouri, there was a station on 6.020 out of Japan, I thought. But I can't pick it up. I'll have to take what's out of my other radio and uh, test it with this radio. This one doesn't have any memories, by the way. You basically turn it on, you tune around, and see what you can find. Here's a Spanish station. Let me switch it over to the sideband. Now, as you could hear, you could tell he was there, but when it's in AM, there we go. If you can tell the difference, let's let me wait for him to talk. There is a little switch in the back. I'm getting cold, but I'll do a, uh, a part two to this tomorrow morning. So that way you guys can kind of see my setup. I'll have to reset some of the stuff up. Yeah, I just thought of my turn. I heard him when he was coming in Idaho, but uh, November Whiskey 3 Delta Vern, your turn to make a call. Are you just ended? I'm switching between uh, this filtering, I guess, in the back. I can barely hear Vern, whoever that is. He's there, but he's so faint. But anyway, I'll do a part two to this tomorrow. This is the ATS-20 receiver. I'll have to give you guys the specs, but it's, it's worth the buy. It's small enough that I'm actually going to uh, carry it around with me in my pocket in a pair of headphones. Because it does come with a uh, telescopic antenna. So, if you want something that's worth to buy, I guess, that does sideband, this is actually a really good radio. I was skeptical about it myself, but I actually really like it. So, uh, part two will be tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed part one, and we'll see you tomorrow.